All right, in this video, I want to go over a certificate of analysis and kind of how to read these things. Um, there are accreditation bodies that are part of um, the whole process and going into these laboratories and ensuring that their process and their standards and their way they're doing things is, you know, up to par, or at least, you know, even it exceeds those qualifications and standards that they we're looking for, for safety and uh, quality control and quality assurance in these products coming to us. And with 17025, uh, that's, you know, your basic driver's license. So when you see a laboratory with that accreditation and stuff, they've gone through a rigmarole. role. They have had an outside body to come through and verify that their process is, um, is up to snuff. Now, when you see these other um, accreditations, so if you see anybody that's looking um, within the like CFR uh, part 211, you're basically getting to the FDA level type of um, quality assurance. Uh, it's well above 17025, just the, the basic things. But here are some uh, accreditation bodies and stuff that uh, look at these uh, laboratories to ensure that what they're looking at and their processes are up to snuff and are good for quality assurance in end products and stuff. Um, safety and standards that are coming about, I would like to let you know, uh, USP uh, is a big player, is extremely involved with this development in the cannabinoid process. And of course, or down here we have um, uh, El Soli, which is, you know, the director um, down there, uh, Ole Miss and stuff doing the, uh, you know, medical marijuana research for the last uh, 30 plus years, they've essentially had the monopoly on everything, whereas now it's actually being open to other producers. Uh, it's being able to do uh, research in marijuana. Uh, yeah, there are certificate analysis things I want you to go and look at. You know, this is the purification process. Uh, they're looking at uh, the analysis of the end product to make sure everything's okay. But Again, you need more than just a cannabinoid panel. Um, so a lot of places are putting out cannabinoid panels and only that. Uh, there's, um, you have to remember that there are terpenes that are involved in some of these processes and or end products. You want to know if there's residual solvents within uh, your end product. And a lot of these products that I'm seeing out there, you know, flour, gummies, whatever, I'm not seeing these uh, certificate analysis um, with these listed at all. Or if they are certificate analysis, it's really old. It's more than a year old compared to the products that are actually on, on stock that you're able to purchase right now. Heavy metals analysis. Uh, you don't want to have any heavy metals within your products, whether it be foods, inhalables, anything. Uh, so if you don't see microbial analysis or mycotoxin analysis as well, um, you're not really buying a quality assurance product. They have not done their due diligence. So some products that I've seen, um, here's a certificate analysis with only a cannabinoid panel. Uh, here's one lab's uh, results, and then you can send it out. Uh, I had another lab verify and compare between the two and notice that there were differences, uh, especially in the Delta nine uh, levels. Uh, so what I really want you to be aware of and everything is, you know, there's a lot of stuff to uh, look at, especially with certificate analysis and product availability. Uh, I have more videos for you to look at. I hope you really enjoy these. These are educational and this is going to be a lot more, uh, there's gonna be a lot more within the educational channel that I have to provide you. All right, we'll see you later. Cheers.